Hello everyone, my name is Uzu Sa. I'm a concept artist based in Vancouver. Today I will show you how to make a ramen bowl in Blender. Actually, I made this video for my Blender class students to get used to Blender before the, the class starts. So in this video, I will talk about 10 weeks class and then week zero assignment and stuff. But actually, I made this video for all the beginners for Blender. So if you don't know anything about Blender, it's all right. I'm gonna teach you everything from the beginning and then, you know, step by step. So no problem. But one thing I wanted to let you know is I'm using something called Heavy Poly Config, which is super cool Blender setup, makes my life so much easier in Blender. So I ask all my students to use it as well. I think it's gonna take less than five minutes to set up. So if you don't have a Heavy Poly Config setup, or if you don't have even like Blender in your computer, go check the link in description and follow the video, install it, come back here again. Also, I wanted to apologize that this video is actually my very, very first tutorial that I ever edited. I don't know how many weeks to make this tutorial. So I bought the camera on the way and then I changed the you know, audio settings. My voice tone changes. We will see, but uh, just apologize for like uh, not having nice consistent voice, how I talk and stuff. But tutorial is very legit. So please enjoy making ramen bowl. All right, let's go. Hello everyone. Welcome to week zero assignment. I'm Azusa. I will be your teacher for this 10 week blender class. You will follow this video and make a ramen bowl and at the same time, you can be familiar with the basic interface of Blender. Don't worry about remembering everything before the class as I will explain everything again in the class anyways. But the more time you spend on Blender, the sooner you can pass the painful learning curve of learning new software and you will have a great time modeling designs really. So why not start spending time now? Okay, let's get started. First of all, it may take more than one hour, but I'm sure that the second one will be shorter. Okay, let's show you how to navigate. So press middle mouse button and you can rotate and then shift middle mouse button and you can pan control and the middle mouse button you can zoom okay let's repeat middle mouse button to rotate the camera and then shift and middle mouse and you can pan and then control and you can zoom there's also a shortcut you should know while you are in the viewport is V Press B and then you can open up the view pie menu by selecting top we can go to the top view V and then we can go to front view V and then we can set the back and then go to back view there is something called object mode and edit mode in blender and by default when you come in it's in edit mode edit mode will give us access to the geometry okay now hold the control space to open up the selection pie menu so this selection pie menu allow us to change what we can select. For example, if we select the vertex, now we can select the vertex. Control space, and if you select edge, we can select edges right now. Control space, face, now we can select faces. And select object, and now we can select object. When we select object, it's gonna show up here. This panel, we call this outliner. This will show you which object you've got in your scene. Let's open up the reference image in the folder and then drag over here. Right now, the image looks too close. Hold the middle mouse button, you can pan. Hold the control and the middle mouse button, drag and you can zoom and zoom out. Hold the control, shift and the middle mouse button and you can frame the image like this. Actually, this works in the viewport as well. Whenever you're too zoom in the object or too far from an object, press control, shift and the middle mouse button. Then camera is gonna zoom where you select it. Okay, let's really start this ramen board. First thing first, control space and then go to face mode and hit A to select everything. A twice, we select everything, but this time we're gonna select everything. So hit A again and hit X to get rid of it. So X will delete. Okay, let's get the bottom part of the board. Shift A and you can open up the primitive pie menu and then select this eight-sided circle here. Boom, S and you can scale. You don't need to drag, you can just hover the mouse and then click and then confirm. Shift space to extrude and then click to confirm. Select the top face again, S and then scale down. Shift space to extrude again, click to confirm, S and then scale up. Okay, a little bit closer to the ramen board shape. Let's add one more subdivision here. Ctrl R and you can add edge loop where you hover the mouse. You can see the preview. Click. Before release the click, drag and you can move the position of the edge loop. And then hit S, get up. Ta-da! Ramen board. 
okay not done yet <laughs> control space and then go to face mode and select the bottom face and x and then delete and then go to the top face select x and delete so now we have big hole <laughs> control space and go to edge mode let's select these edges to fill this hole so to select the multiple edges hold the shift and click and you can select the multiples you can also hold alt click you can see like i'm selecting the whole loop okay let's fill this hole create face if actually you can find all the shortcuts here hit f and now there is no hole control space and go to object mode let's smooth this to do that hit tab Ta -da! now the ball looks around cool you can toggle between this and that control space edge okay mm, actually i want to make it more like fat bottom so alt click hit space and you can move i want to move just up and down to do that hit z z is basically up and down in blender world click and confirm um also there's a y axis and the x axis in the 3d so let's run that now space and you can move hit space again it's gonna move along the y axis if you want to cancel you can just like click cancel also space escape and you can cancel the movement as well y is usually like going forward and backwards okay hit space and x it's left and right cancel escape okay now look at this ball something's wrong so what's wrong is there's no thickness right now in the object mode click this object and oh before that, let's name this one ramen ball. So if you go to outliner and then double click the object you selected and then ramen ball. Select this object, click this wrench mark again, the modifier tab and select solidify. Solidify is a modifier that give the give object thickness. Thickness. By changing this number, you can change the thickness. By the way, if you hold the shift in the slide, you can change the number little by little. Okay, let's make a soup next. Select this object again, control space to edge mode and alt, click this edge, hit F and escape. Next, hit P. P is to separate. So now we got uh, another object. So let's name this soup. Okay, hit S, scale down a little bit, space, Z, and then move down a little bit. Now soup is ready. Click this one. Let's give this soup some color. So to change the material, click this tab. It's a material tab. Right now, soup has glossy material. Let's try changing the color. To change color, change the color from here. Oops. Now you can see the color of the ball is also changing. Let's control Z to go back. If you click the ball, you can see the balls have same glossy material. Click soup again and then click this icon. And you can copy the material. Now it has glossy point, point, point zero zero 0.001. Has this ball has glossy. Let's name this one ramen ball. And then this one, this soup one, soup material. Okay, let's give the soup material soup color. Let's get some green onion to make green onion. Shift A, and then you can add stuff like mesh, carved surface, a lot of stuff. Also light and cameras. So this time mesh, and then add cylinder. Okay. S and then scale down, space, Z going up, and then space. If you hold control, you can snap the object to the surface or vertex and the faces. So it's very convenient. So snap and then control, shift, and the middle mouse button, you can zoom. Hit S, Z again, move it a little bit up. Control space, go to face mode, delete top face, also this face. Let's get the material. It's right now it's just white. So go to the material tab and hit new and then search for the color and put the wrench mark and let's give it some thickness boom cool cool maybe control space object mode s the device and now we got one green onion <laughs> nah. control space or the face mode double click or hit a to select everything shift d and then you can duplicate and move rotate oh actually actually if you press r you can rotate so now we are rotating from view to rotate along the x-axis press x if you hit z it's gonna rotate around the z-axis if you hit space it, you can rotate around the y-axis also if you hit r twice it's gonna rotate like this <laughs> as if there is a pivot point center of this selection it's kind of good i can use this a lot shift d Duplicate again, R twice, and then move, shift D, R twice, move, 
Shifty, R twice, move, oh, space and I move, change the position, Shifty, R, okay. Oh, also you can scale with S, change the sizes, a little bit more randomness, control space. And then let's change some color. Go to material tab. We can, let's name this one, green onion. Usually I don't really name materials, but sometimes it's nice to you know, keep stuff tidy. Select one material, uh, select one onion by clicking. Double click will select the mesh or connect it. Okay, to add a new material, hit this plus button here and then new. Right now it looks nothing changed yet because we didn't assign the materials to the face we selected. Let's hit this assign button. Now it has uh, this white material. Let's change the color a little bit like deeper green. Maybe let's assign this one too. Double click and assign this one and let's rename. Onion. Control space and go to object mode. Let's duplicate. Or maybe hit S and scale. Okay. Shift D, duplicate, rotate. Shift D, duplicate, rotate. Shift D, duplicate, rotate. Smaller. S to smaller. Duplicate, shift D, duplicate, repeat, 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 repeat. I love grey onion, so yeah. And then maybe some of them has like a little bit thicker. You can go to solidify and then change a little bit. Hold the shift and change a little bit. Okay. Oh, now this looks like a lover, so maybe not. Okay. And then control space, space, double click, go to material, maybe deeper green. Maybe we can get one more color. Plus and new and then we green onion. A little bit lighter color like this. And assign, don't forget to assign. Whoa, too bright. Maybe it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Maybe some of them do. Uh, click run, click random one and then oh, we have to add. In this object, it has this one, this new material white one, but other one doesn't have, so we have to add it. And then how to get the material we already made is click here and you can search, scroll, 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 or you can type ma material. Oh uh, no, it's not, it's green onion. So you can type green, and yeah, white. We just added material inside of the object we have to assign. So select the face and then assign, well, assign. Cool. Okay, right now the a lot of green onions are rotting, so make sure they are on the water or something like this. Next, let's make an um, egg. Okay, actually something happened to my scene and I have to remake this one. So let's not let it happen to your scene. Go to file, save as, or control S and you can open up the saving pie menu. Save as the scene and name with zero underscore your name underscore ramen something like this now your scene safe okay let's make egg select this ramen board and control space and go to face mode alt click you can select that loop if you hold shift and alt click you can select multiple loops shift d to duplicate right click to go back to original position p separate object and let's name this egg doesn't look like it now, but egg. Hold Z and then you can open up the shading pie menu. I'm gonna explain this about later. We are going to use isolate and you can isolate the object you selected. If you want to go back, uh, just isolate again, okay? So when we are selecting everything, hit F. It's gonna fill all the holes. That's very cool. Okay, F. Looks like I... <laughs> Ctrl R, add the edge loop here. Move up. Ctrl space, go to face mode. Select the top face, Alt space, and then scale down. Now let's get egg yolk color. Go to the material tab and then copy this one because still have ramen bowl material. Copy, name egg white. Plus, new. Let's assign to where we selected. Sign, egg yolk. And change the base color to egg yolk color. Shift space, extrude a little bit. Old space, uh, beautiful round shape. We can select select egg white and then select and we only selecting the egg white part. Hit S space move up this way. Mm, this is not what I wanted, but okay. Control space vertex and select space and move space and move. It's, it's okay. It's organic stuff. So select and move egg yolk. Oh, maybe we can change one more color. Control space and face 
alt and select edges add one more material new assign and then let's make it more yellowish color around here yellowish color Oop. select center face and then alt space and you can insert Oop. nice and z and then get out of the isolation mode oh we got the big egg so right now we have the pivot point here because we got this object from this board. So we are having the same pivot point from the board. To make the pivot point center, hold shift, control and right click. Now the pivot point is going to center. So we can rotate from the center. Okay. S scale down, space Z to move down. Hit S and scale down a little bit. Space and move, rotate. Space, move, rotate. Something like this. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want, it's okay. I, and I like eggs, so I'm gonna put two. <laughs> we can change the egg white color. Go to material tab, go select egg white. A little bit more brownish color because it's a ramen egg. It's supposed to be marinated in soya sauce. Hmm. Okay, let's get some meat. No, maybe let's get some noodle. Okay, before I start working on ramen, let's save. Ctrl S to open up the saving. Save pie menu and save ads. And then it's gonna be ramen version 2. Sometimes I like to put like until done or something like this. It's nice if you write down what you've done last or what you got in the version for yourself later to know what's inside of the file. And also like we can select this one and we can see the preview. Yeah, touch everything to see what's gonna happen. Also like every time we cover the mouse on something, we have explanation. It's so cool. Yeah, everything. Save. Okay, now you are seeing the safe. Whew. Oh, before making noodle, let's give this onion name. So right now those are cylinder. They are not the onion actually. So press edit and then you can battery name. Set name selected. Going to set name new. Press green onion. Okay. All right. Let's make ramen noodle. Shift A. Mesh. Add mesh. Cylinder. Control space. Go to face mode. Click the bottom face. X to delete. Control space. Edge. Alt click to select the loop. Shift D. Escape to go back to original position. P to separate object. So, oh, we are in the green onion family. So let's get out of here. Shift and click, select multiple, drag into the main. Select cylinder and then delete that. This edge we have to preserve as a noodle. Right now, the pivot point is the center of the cylinder. We had control shift, right mouse button, make the pivot point center of the object. Space Z to move up. Let's give this edge some volume. Go to benchmark, add the modifier. Skin. So skin modifier is to give the vertex thickness. So solidify modifier you used before was to give the thickness to the face, but this one is for the vertex. Sadly, we cannot change the thickness from here, but we can change from here. Go to vertex mode, A to select all the vertex, Control A, and you can change the thickness. Okay, now we got the noodle. Maybe maybe a little bit thinner. Okay, let's start shaping your noodle. Oh, before that, material tab and name it noodle. Get the noodles, um, noodle color, egg noodle, yellow. Nice. Control shift and then go to vertex mode and select here, um, X. Here. Now the half part doesn't have skin. Double click and select this half and mark root and you can have it. Nice. Double click to select connected R and rotate. And then move, select this one, double click, rotate, move. Shift D, duplicate. Rotate, shift shift Rotate, shift duplicate. Shift shift Maybe A to select everything, shift and rotate. You can also scale up and scale down, but still keep the same volume. That's what I like about skin modifier for the noodle. Okay, and one last noodle, and here. Okay, nice. And select some of the vertex, hit O, and you can go into the proportional editing. So what is the proportional editing? If you hit space, you can see this circle now. If we don't have proportional editing, we are moving vertex like this, like only one by one. But if we have proportional editing on, you can move vertex around as well. And also you can change the fall off with Alt plus and you can make it bigger. Alt minus to make it smaller. If you have mouse with a scroll wheel, you can just scroll like this. It's very easier to model actually mouse, but I'm using com. Okay, select around here, move that, 
like this and uh, oop, oop. it's kind of too big so old minus 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 I should close my window please I'm sorry I'm sorry all right um I lost the file again so please please don't forget to save often okay save 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 for yourself <sighs> okay let's make the noodle better control space vertex maybe smaller smaller yeah make it small so that we can make it like a little bit curly curly noodle by the way you know the white fish cake with the spiral is called naruto we have a huge water wall called naruto in our area in japan the fish name came from that also the naruto the manga character's name came from that too actually i went there and last year and it was super huge okay by the way, if you find something too sharp or and get out of the proportion editing, select the sharp one. If you press B, you can bevel. B and bevel. Yeah. And B and bevel. Okay, that's it. That's it. No more noodle. We can take care of it later. Let's make the soup better. Click the soup, go to material, lower the roughness, specular, higher, so that it looks more reflective, like a water. And right now, it's not transparent, so lower the alpha here, go to setting, open up the setting tab, render mode, alpha blend. Ta-da! Now it's very transparent, it's like a water. Let's duplicate. Duplicate the soup, and then move down a little bit, scale down, and then copy this material, soup 001, and then alpha a little bit higher, and darker more soy sauce color and shift D duplicate one more time shift D and then make it smaller okay we can make the super better letter too next let's make this Naruto shift A to add a mesh select cylinder press D to open up the last tool setting and then make it vertices 12 enter S Z scale down scale down like a Naruto size space Z go up go up and then look at around here don't rotate it before okay control space face alt and click select the loop alt e extrude individual faces and hit tab and now we have a Naruto but we want this pink spiral select the noodle control space and bar text select one bar text shift D and copy control and snap here tada hit P to separate and then name it Naruto spiral this one called where oh it's in the green onion family so get drag out and then Naruto also if you want you can make it a group M and a new collection Naruto Okay, select those Naruto's and Z, go to isolate, V and top view, V to open up the viewport by menu, if you remember. Select this, this Naruto spiral, go to vertex mode, select this vertex, E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude, cool. Hit A, mark root, tada, so cute. <laughs> go to material, copy, Naruto, Naruto pink. And the pink, of course. Uh, in the vertex mode, hit A and then B to bevel all oh, the vertex. If you want, you can make it bigger or smaller. Tada, Naruto. Set and then get out of the isolate mode. Select the boss and rotate. Control, shift, and right mouse. Get the pivot points in center and rotate. And rock it wherever you want. Very cute. So cute. Okay, maybe I'm gonna put two. All right, it's time to barbecue pork. Oh, before that, let's change the ramen bowl color to red. Shift A to add a cylinder. Boom. S, Z, scale down. Space, Z to move up. Scale down. S to scale down. Control and snap around here. Around here. Z, go to isolation. Hit new. Assign barbecue pork material. Barbecue pork. By the way, we call this chashu in Japan. Be change the base color. This color. Control space. Go to face mode. Alt space to inset. V to go to top view. Move. Alt space to inset. Move. Control out to cut loop. Control space. Go to face mode. Alt click and add a new material plus new assign. Maybe copy the name. To white. A little bit darker. And go to face mode, select the center face, add a new material, new, assign, and get a little bit darker color. Alt click to select outside edge, 
shift space to extrude, shift alt click to select multiple loop, assign, then third material. Name. You know, really, you don't need to <laughs> name all the material, but yeah, sometimes it's good to do that. Control space. Mm, I'm not being fan of this white color. Let's improve. You can I drop the color as well. Click this one and then get the same color. And then change the color from that. All right. Z. Let's get out of the isolation mode. Scale down. Yeah, I really don't like this color. Let's delete. <laughs> R, Z, and rotate Z axis. Let's improve the material of the egg yolk. Let's higher specular, lower, lower roughness. Let's name it. Higher specular, lower roughness, lower roughness, like white too. Same thing. Okay, let's improve the soup next. Let's leave with the original one and then delete the other ones and then select the top one. Soup. Let's make the group M, new correction, soup. Hold the control shift and right click, we can like we can jump what we select. If you want to change the order of the correction, and you can drag to where you want, like this. Let's move it in the soup. Everything in the main. Okay. Select the top soup and make it even more transparent. Make it even yellow. Yellow. Control Shift right click to make the pivot point center. Shift D and duplicate and smaller. It is to scale down and copy the material and darker the color a little bit. Shift D and scale down. Shift D and scale down. And copy the material, dark the color, more red. Maybe this one can be copy the material, darker a little bit, red. Scale up a bit, maybe even more darker. Okay, let's make the bamboo shoot shift A, mesh, cube, change the material, bamboo shoot, and copy this, and then paste this one here. And then we are in the soup, so go to me. And base color, make it brownish color, bamboo shoot color. We call this Nachiku, by the way. Higher specular, lower roughness. Scale down, space it, go up. S it, scale, scale to Z axis. S X to make it flatter. Rotate and move and position whenever you want. Control space, go to edge mode. Ctrl R, Ctrl R, Ctrl R to add more subdivision, vertex, and this proportionality is on, nice. Okay. And then just move and locate where you want. And then if you want, change the cool. Okay, select the charge Control space, and go to Sculpt mode. We have Sculpt mode in Blender, really nice. Then open up this toolbar, you can toggle with T, or you can press this little Arrow and go to grab tool F and you, you can change the size of brush and push and pull and then sculpt the shape. I believe that little bit of imperfection makes the object more appealing. So I love the sculpting tool a lot and use a lot all the time. Let's duplicate and you can get to Chashu. Control shift and then go back to the sculpting mode and adjust a little bit. Change however you like. And then move a little bit, adjust, make sure nothing is overwrapping like this when it's writing. Maybe we can improve the soup even more. Shift D, don't move, escape, scale down, V, and go to top view. And we can add little bubbles. Shift and duplicate and lock it wherever we want. Because we are we are doing this from the top view, it doesn't affect the that's one thing I like about when we are editing from the top view. Or maybe control control shift and with the mouse button to go where you selected. Control shift face alt space to inset and delete the center face. Control space out oh, go to top make sure you're on top view and get this kind of bubble. Oil, 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 oils, oils. Oils are kind of we can see more around anything. Yeah, too much detail. Mm, too much. Okay. Let's adjust the noodle a little bit. Move down, scale down, move down, duplicate. It's really nice. The skin modifier allows us to scale without changing the thickness. When you have something like this, you can delete. Select all the noodle and Ctrl J to make it join, like make it one object. And tab it. And it's gonna be round. Yay. Okay. Shift A, mesh, plane. Let's add some seaweed. New material, choose a black color. Ctrl Shift, edge mode. It's nice to have a black color here. 
Shift space, shift space, extrude, Ctrl R, Ctrl R to get the loop cut, Shift T to duplicate R, Z, Ctrl space, and I go to sculpt mode, and then I just uh, ship. Oh, by the way, you can see these lines and the boxy shader. If you want to smooth, click and Z and then shade smooth. Okay, now it's smooth. And don't forget Ctrl S and save. Well, lastly, a very important thing. Select the A, Ctrl space and the face. Shift space, extrude, rotate, okay. Select the egg face mode, smaller, shift space, extrude, a little bit more. Like half cooked, very nice. Yay! Maybe we can share this one with this one too. Let's make the specular higher and then lower the roughness. Select the pork and tab and make it round. Go to face mode. Select the middle face and inset to change the shape. Select the other one. Go to face mode. Select the center face and inset. Here is only for the people who made the two ramen boards. Maybe make the table. Shift A, mesh, cube. S and scale up, S and Z to scale down, scale to the Y and X as well. Shift A add a cube to make a chopsticks. Scale down, hit space and then move and scale down. Control space and go to face mode. Select the side of the face and then space Y to move over here. Box select these faces and scale down. Hit A to select everything and B to bevel. Hit new material, base color, black. Chopstick, higher the specular and lower the roughness, control space, object mode, hit space to move, shift D to duplicate, R, Z, space and move, shift A, add a mesh, select the cylinder, move over here, smaller, space Z, select the top face, space and Z, control R to get the root cut, space, Space, Alt click, Shift space to extrude, Control space, face mode, Alt click, select this top face, X to delete, oh no. Control box select and you can deselect X. Then go to modify a tab, add a solidify, go to object mode, select the cup or the soup. Control L and open up the link menu, the link material. Now the cup got the same material as the soup, build the material, name it cup. And let's change the color to the cup color. Next, lower the alpha a little bit. Shift D to duplicate the cup. Hit escape to get back to original position. S scale down. Control space, face mode, direct everything, and F to get to the surface. Space and Z move a little bit lower. Shift A and add a cube and move around here. S and scale down. Control shift and middle mouse button to zoom up. Control space, go to face mode. V to bevel. Let's copy the material. Select the ice cube and also the cup. Control L and then select the link material. Copy the material and then rename the ice. Maybe higher the alpha a little bit to make it more visible. Shift D and then duplicate and then move it where you want. Select the water and then maybe you can change it to T. Change the base color to the T color. Let's change the table color next. Black. Mm. I don't know, up to you, it's all up to you. Yellow, maybe yellow. Oh, maybe green can be cute too. Green, mm. maybe yellow. All right. Okay, next is lighting. Right now we are using the world lighting. Also, you can change the world lighting from here. Just try clicking everything to see which one is your favorite. Also, if you don't want to see the world, you can turn off the opacity if you want. And then, yeah, try cooking everything. It's so fun. Also, you can adjust the strength of the world lighting. Right now we are not really seeing the light and the shadow much but if you turn on the scene light from here boom oh but maybe my light can be different position as yours if you cannot find yours you can find from the outliner or somehow you lost it shift a and light and you, you can add a light whenever you want around also you can change the color from here like this yellowish color to make it more tasty Ta -da. if you want to go to camera b you can go to camera. Ta -da. Now you can frame it and find a nice angle. Also select the table and then scale up. And select the camera from the outliner. And cool thing is we can affect depth of field. Turn on this and then select the object from the eyedrop. Here. Ta -da. And from here you can adjust the F stop number. F stop. This. You can play around. Setting. Also, if you go to light, you can change the color of the light. You can also change the light shape with this kind of thing. Try, try just changing all the numbers and 
if you, by the way, control and middle mouse and you can scale it up here. If you want, you can hover the mouse on the stuff. You can get all the explanation from Blender. So just enjoy. Just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. You can load, if you go, if you change the area, right? You can rotate and then change the scale and you can change the right size. It's very fun. Okay, that's it. Thank you for doing week zero assignment. I'm sorry for the bad video editing and also narration. This was my first time to edit video like this and my voice tone, microphone is on the way. Sorry, so many times. But we've learned in the, in this assignment, I will explain again in the class by making different stuff, but I hope you got some idea of how to use Blender a little bit and remember some hotkeys as well. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the class, so bye bye.